The 60s belonged to Wakefield Trinity. This was their golden era. Hull were again the opposition, but they had no answer to the likes of Neil Fox, Eric Turner and so on. Unquestionably, some of the game's greatest players. John Vines, Eric Turner, known as Rocky Turner to the Wakefield fans and the opposition too. Albert Firth, number 11. Eric Turner, long one to Vines. Jerry Round coming up to make it, but he didn't. And it's strolling, running through. And it's a kick and it's a chase for the ball. Can he get it? Nan Alapis chasing him. It's a try. It's a try. Well, what a wonderful opening for Wakefield. What a great try for Ken Rowling. Tight to St. Cowan. St. Cowan going down to the post. See all the defence out of position there, that's what I got a little bit excited about. I thought it was going to be a try. Vines, short one, a long one to ski. Inside one to Neil Fox. Neil Fox is trying to score in the corner. And they scored in the corner. Five minutes gone in the second half. Long one to Skeen. Alan Skeen, the speed box centre, is looking for support. He's got Neil Fox outside him. He's going on his own. What a wonderful try by Alan Skeen. And he dives over. Well, what a sensational try by this South African spring box. There he is. No wonder Jack Wilson tussled his hair for him. Well... There'll be a lot of hard stuff in this next 20 minutes. I'm sure of that. Away goes Turner. He's got, he's got in support of him. He's got Holiday chasing. 15 yards to go. Two yards to catch him. He's over. Wilkinson. Turner jumping and Turner, oh, it's a pass to Alan Skeen for his second try, right behind the post. There goes Skeen in all his glory, two tries. What a magnificent afternoon for this ex-Springbok rugby union player, 50 times capped for Western Province. Whiteley the captain, Whiteley breaking away, looking inside, but he's lost the ball and round is there to take the cover and round is running running nicely he's got neil fox inside him what can neil fox do neil fox is going over for a try nobody will catch him but it will be too late if they do round behind the post what a grand try to neil fox simple as that just that simple well there's that very very good footballer neil fox wilkinson Pushing them around. Smith. Smith! And there goes Fred Smith for the try. He's been so much wanting to equal his club record out behind the post for his first try of the afternoon. Fred Smith. Wakefield on the attack. Wanted to get this final try for the completion. And eight. there comes the final try to scrum half. Keith Holiday goes near enough to behind the post for a Fox chance of a goal. It's the time. Time has gone and Wakefield have won the Rugby League Cup by 38 points to hold five. By 1962, when Wakeford Trinity faced Huddersfield, Eddie Waring was well established. His style of commentary brought the game a national audience and appreciation. And still, still the ball is being moved and Fox is going to have a drop. Fox is going to have a drop too. 
wait till they're going to be worried without Derek Turner. Away go. Oh, well, they can wait for the first. He's got one man to beat. It's just Wales is right on the go. Wales has got the score. It's scored. Seven three. Four points in it. One try, one goal, and that's five points. So just how close it is. Chance for Hurst. Hurst away. He's got one man to beat. If he beats him, he's in. If not, he's in. He's in. He's in for the try. He's there. For Trinity's captain, Derek Rocky Turner, a proud moment. And at this stage of the game's history, Trinity seemed to be setting the standards. And with players like Ian Brook, Bob Haig, Berwyn Jones, it was hardly surprising. Trinity.